All right guys, so this video is all about the southpaw position. I had a few requests for videos on how to do things from a southpaw stance. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to defend and counter the orthodox jab, right? Two ways to do it. So we're getting the gloves on today. We're here in Box and Burn. I'm with Mark, coach here at Box and Burn. Uh, we're gonna work on defending and countering the jab from a southpaw stance against an orthodox boxer, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to do it, a couple of ways to do it, how we can counter with the jab and how we can counter with the cross. And then we're going to show you how to put that into practice on the mitts as well, so you can use it in your, in your coaching sessions as well. So if I'm a southpaw boxer right here, the first thing I'm going to think about is how I can defend the jab. Nine times out of ten, that's going to be the first punch that's going to come at me is the jab, right? So if we get comfortable just parrying that jab, so if he throws his jab, I'm going to use my lead hand to parry it. So left glove, right glove for me, my front side. I'm going to, the jabs are on the same side. He throws that jab, I'm just going to try and keep my glove higher than his and knock it down, right? I'm going to parry that jab. So throw a jab at my head, I'm going to parry it, right? Parry it. Now how can we counter that with the same punch using the jab to come back, right? So I've parried the jab, I've deflected the hand down, it's left his chin wide open, I can jab right over that, right? So catch and shoot. So I'm going to parry the jab and then throw my own jab from the southpaw stance. So catch, shoot, right? Again, Catch, shoot, right? Especially if he's stepping into it, he's stepping into range to, for that counter jab. So that's the first way we can counter it is with the jab, so a catch and shoot. Before we get to the second one, I just want to remind you, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, that way you're going to get notified of the videos each week. And we're going to have mitt work breakdowns, combination builds, all that good stuff. And I'm going to get more of these southpaw drills in there for you southpaws out there too. And always remember with these southpaw drills, it's also applicable to orthodox boxers going up against a southpaw. So the exact same thing would apply to him too. If I lead with the jab, he can parry my jab and jab straight over the top. So any southpaws watching, remember orthodox boxers, the same applies to you as well if you're facing a southpaw boxer. All right, so how can we counter that orthodox jab with the cross, right? So the key right here is, is to use the feet and to step across your opponent. You've probably heard it a few times about when you get a lefty versus a righty, it's about the battle of the feet, right? I want to try and get my right foot outside of his left foot. That leaves me all my punches available. Now, if I step with the cross off that jab, that's going to allow me to land that straight left hand. So as he throws that jab, I'm still going to parry it, but as I'm, I'm starting to go with my cross, I'm going to step across him a little bit because in this position right here, he can still kind of block that uh, with the backhand and I'm, I'm not, I, I could probably still land it, but watch what happens if I just take a step with the cross. So as I parry the jab, boom, I go in there. I'm in a safe position in here. I've landed the shot. It's, it's created that space for me to land that up in that opening. My foot's outside of his foot. You can see the foot position right there. Now from here, I can do anything. I've got body shots available. I've got hooks available. I can pivot out. I can control him and do whatever I want. And the complete opposite is true for him. So if I've, I've parried the jab. I've stepped across. I've landed a hard shot with my cross, right? I've landed a powerful shot and I've stepped into it for the extra power. He's got nothing available right here. He's all his target is gone. My target's right here still in front of me. So a huge advantage to getting that foot outside. And like I said a second ago, the exact same thing applies for an orthodox boxer against the southpaw as well. So there's your two ways to defend the jab and counter the jab as a southpaw versus orthodox. So just a quick recap before we get to the mitts. So throwing the jab, counter him with the jab first. So he throws the jab, parry, shoot. Okay, again, parry, shoot. Now the key here with that parry, we've talked about this on my previous videos, is not getting too big with the hand, right? Just a small movement, let the jab travel, catch it right in front of the face, boom. Then you're in position to shoot, okay? Catch, boom, shoot, okay? Now the second option, throwing the cross and stepping across the lead foot. And you can almost kind of tease this too. So kind of let him think that he's got the foot by putting your foot kind of inside. I'll draw him into throwing that jab. So as soon as he goes, boom, step across. Front foot, back hand, right? That's how you can counter it with the cross as well. So again, one more time just to re uh, recap. Catch and shoot with the jab, and then catch and shoot, step cross. So those are the two ways you can counter the orthodox jab from a southpaw stance. Two different punches as well to counter with. Now let's get onto the mitts and show you how you can put that into practice on the mitt. All right, so option number one was to parry the jab and throw the jab. So as the coach, I'm gonna stand in an orthodox stance. Mark's gonna be in a southpaw stance. So I'm gonna throw my left jab from the, as a coach for him to parry it. As soon as he's parried that, I'm gonna have my right mitt available right here as a target. So make sure you can see that from the start, right? And he's gonna throw that left jab on my right mitt. 
So I'm throwing the left jab, catching his right jab, southpaw jab on, on the right mitt right here. So it's just a catch and shoot, catch, shoot, good. And you, you don't need to step in with that, you can do if you want to. But remember, if you do step in with that jab, you're also walking into that lead hook. So let's just stay in place for now and just work on just, just throwing the jab. So boom, boom, good. And again, boom, boom, good. Parry and shoot. So there's the jab. So I'm throwing the left jab, he's parrying it, I'm catching the jab on the right mitt, okay? Um, now the second option we worked on, stepping over with the cross and landing the cross off that same parry, right? Before I show you how to do this on the mitts, again, I just want to remind you, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, that way you're going to get notified of the new videos each week, all right? So going to the cross, I'm going to lead with the jab again, he's going to parry it just like he did, but instead of catching this right here, that would be off, uh, off line, right? We want to keep it realistic, so I'm actually going to hold it kind of in front of my chin right here, but make sure I can still see his glove, and it's kind of like an overhand, step overhand, uh, arms slightly bent right here, and he's stepping across me and I'm gonna catch it right there in the middle, right behind my shoulder right here. So it's kind of as realistic as possible, that's what we're trying to aim for. So as, as I go with that jab, I'm gonna bring that mitt up as well so he can see the target as he throws the punch. I mean, what we wanna try and avoid with this stuff, you see this a lot with coaches, is we kinda, of, you'll kinda of see this, and then as he goes with the punch, step, boom, just meeting it at the last minute. So it's not that, right? I want him to see that target and train his eyes to land that uh, shot on the target that's there, right? So we're gonna, we're gonna throw the left jab, he's gonna parry it, he's gonna step across, boom! Right there with the right mitt, and you're gonna have to lift the elbow a little bit for this one to uh, allow a good solid impact on that cross. Ready, so catch and shoot, step over with the cross. Ready, go. Good, and again. Nice, and again. Good, a little bit sharper now. Loose, get in your stance, keep that right side forward a little bit. Ready, go. Nice, really dig on that left hand now. Good, nice. So there's the way you can catch that count across as well. So both are coming off the orthodox jab. Number one, just to recap, orthodox jab leads, we defend it, we counter with the, with the jab, southpaw jab. Second option, we catch the orthodox jab, same, same defense of the same punch, but to counter it this time, we're stepping over and landing that lead cross over the top. And for coaches, both times you're catching on the right mitt. So you're gonna stand in an orthodox stance, you're gonna throw the orthodox jab, and you're gonna catch both counter punches on that right mitt, all right? Hopefully that helps give you a little bit of information and a little bit better idea, a clear idea of how to catch and shoot um, that orthodox jab from a southpaw stance. So you southpaws out there, uh, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. Hopefully you can practice it out and hopefully it works for you in your, uh, in your training and your sparring, hopefully in your fights too even. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this drill.